So I turned on the radio for the first time and I actually heard some ghosts talking. <laughs> What's up everybody, Seth here, and today I'm doing a review on Occultic 9. So honestly, going into this one, I didn't really have high expectations. It's gotten a lot of bad rep, not very many positive feedback on it. So I came into this really skeptical and kind of curious to why everyone doesn't really talk too highly of it. So let's begin the review. So this is about this neat, so he calls himself, trying to make it big on the online world, trying to run this blog and become really famous and make a lot of money and to become really famous. But something really unexpected happened while he was following all these crazy stories that he's been watching on the news and hearing about, he kind of got himself involved into something he really wishes he didn't. So now that he's caught up in all this crazy stuff, he is trying to dig himself out, but it's not that easy. He actually keeps digging himself further and further into this mess. And before you know it, it is insane, like, the stuff that he gets himself into. Like, he just wanted to be this, like, little shut-in neat running his little online blog, but that is far from what happens in reality. But because of everything that has been happening, he does meet a lot of cool little interesting people, and they kind of try to help him solve everything that's been going on. So now the question is, what the hell is going on? Let's all go to court. Let's go make some lore now. With that being said, sadly that's all I'm going to give you because this this particular anime is actually incredibly easy to spoil. If I give you too much detail, it'll ruin the whole experience for you. So with that being said, let's go into my thoughts. So when I first started this anime, it starts off with a Lol's what intro. And I'm going to need you to put them way up inside your butthole, Morty. In my butt? Put them way up inside there as far as they can fit. Oh, jeez, Rick. Random check. He's got to go through the new machine. What new, what new machine? It's a new machine. It detects stuff all the way up your butt. Run, Morty! Run! Then I kind of quickly started figuring out the problems of this anime. Well, they talk super fast. It's a fast-paced conversation. Like, her, him, her, him, her, him. Like, it's super fast. Like, they constantly... Unless you're really good at speed reading or know some Japanese, like, kind of a turn off. Then, for like some reason, this random girl, you don't know who she really is, but she's there. And honestly, she's really rather useless. You will not know the point who she is anything until way later. I think episode six or seven is when they explain it. But until then, you just, you have this random girl literally jumping around for no reason, just bouncing. Like, she has like triple Z's and she's just jumping around bouncing for no fucking reason. But on top of everything, they have the main character as this little wimp, which is fine. It's normal and it's some animes for some reason. I don't know why they always make the guy the wimp, but he normally starts off as a wimp and then becomes badass. That's not the case in this one. He is a wimp the whole way through. Like, he is literally the type of guy, like, you see him on the internet, he's, like, all cocky and stuff, but then when you see him, you know, in real life, you know, interacting with real people, he is quickly scared, he runs away crying quite a lot, you know, he's easy to just drop to his knees and just start bawling. It was annoying, it was super annoying, and he acts like a spoiled brat, and that doesn't change, like, that aspect never changes, so that was also kind of another turnoff for me. But with all that being said, I mean, if you somehow find yourself still watching this and you end up getting to episode 6, it actually does a 180 from there. It turns around, everything starts kind of making sense, the very first episode makes sense, like everything starts coming together. It gets, I don't know, a little better. I mean, the anime does take a 180. They don't do all of the speed reading stuff anymore. They don't do a lot of the annoying stuff that they did before episode 6. Uh, so, I mean, it, 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 it gets better, but it's not like a salvage point by no means. I mean, if it's, it's kind of like I, I watched it just to kind of find out because I was like, oh, dang, dude, that was crazy. You know, I, I kind of saw it coming, but kind of didn't like in a certain aspect. 
so I kept watching out of curiosity. But I mean, honestly, this one definitely is the the type that you just if you can make it to episode six, just finish it. I mean, it was kind of worth the finish. Uh, in my opinion, the ending was kind of a letdown. Uh, I mean, overall, the anime was definitely okay. Uh, not something high on my list. Not something I would tell you guys to just go instantly drop everything and watch. But at the same time, this anime might not just be for me. You guys might like it. I don't really know. So let me know how you guys feel about this anime in the comments. Hey guys, if you really enjoyed my content, please head over to my profile, and if you haven't already, click on that sub button, but then also click on that little bell. That bell will notify you anytime I post up a video, so that way you can always be kept up to date. Thank you guys for watching, I had a lot of fun making this video. If this video helped you, please do the thumbs up, and like always, I'll see you guys in the next one.